one part of the story is a sad story. The other part of the story is a story which is, I don't know, fun. I, I don't know. It's death we are talking about. So we are talking about this lady that stormed into a church with boiling hot water and she's on a woman who she's i don't know suspected or what this water on this young lady the young lady's face whoo jesus not gonna show that <laughs> yeah but you can go google it up second part of the story it's a pastor who was buried in a coffin that looks like a bible so wow <laughs> <laughs> so that's one side of the story that is interesting, not nice, but uh, then there's this other story, make of it what you want. <laughs> I saw this story uh, maybe a two, three days back of this young lady, then we're going to go to the coffin story. And basically this, she walked into a church, stormed in, and they say that she even tried to the lady that the lady is but i think uh, human emotion i can relate to and i can understand why a person would feel that much empowered to do something like that i view every relationship the same way i'm in a relationship with you but that relationship with you is a reflection of my relationship with god i've said that ever since this would hinder me from doing or treating another person like this you know uh today i think if not today, yesterday, I don't know when exactly. I didn't check the calendar. <laughs> it's Happy Women's Month in South Africa. And so I think it was yesterday. You can correct me down in the comments. <laughs> Please Google Ricky. This is important because it defines how I act towards other people, or whoever I'm in a relationship with. And so if I find that you did something like this to me, uh, it will determine how I act. Why? Because my relationship with you is a reflection of my relationship with God. Um, you're responsible for your action. So now, if it was speculation and it turns out to be false, that girl's life has been changed. You burned, you left a permanent mark of hurt on her, of anger on her. A constant reminder every single time she looks at the mirror she's going to remember that particular I, I cannot imagine put, leaving that kind of a mark on a person that's crazy that that's crazy but that's maybe that's just me y'all tell me what you think man my relationship with you is as I relate it to God and so I cannot I don't see ever myself getting to that point of anger to where I'm, I'm willing to do something that much to speaking of people willing to do things this pastor when he was buried. Now you might think, ah, Ricky is making up things. Maybe you photoshopped it. No. This pastor was being buried. Uh, I think it was about a month back. I don't know how I missed this story, but uh, if you don't see unique stories, Ricky is not doing research. <laughs> He's relaxing too much. But that was the month when I was when I was sick, actually, when we had the flu. I'm going to play the videos here. I'll reference the channel. You can go watch the full video. They do a little bit of translation in English. And I'll be back with my commentary. <laughs> The mortal remains of the late pastor is being carried in the um, Bible carved or Bible styled coffin to the cemetery for internment. Um, the coffin is, is said to be worth um, $350, approximately uh, $350. But in Ghana cities, it is 2,000 Ghana cities. Okay, it's been purchased. Uh, in um, Tema or uh, specifically a Shaiman, yeah, a, a close source from the family made this known to us. And um, as you can see, the coffin is polished or sprayed with a color black and uh, just styled as the normal Bible, as the normal local Bible uh, is being designed. Uh, and the leaflet of the Bible is colored red. And written on the Bible is um, in our Ghanaian Akan language, Tre Kron Kron, which means the Holy Bible. And um, they've also written something. I believe that one is from the family. At the right side of the Bible, they've written on it that um, Odofo Nantiyi, meaning fare thee well, our beloved one. Very, very interesting. Now, 
I absolutely love the idea of a coffin that is like shaped like a Bible. I love that. So which is why I said it's a sad story, but it's a nice story. It's it's, it's unique. Okay, I've seen people who get buried sitting up straight. There were there were videos of that, and there was also another man who who, who was so rich he wanted to be buried in his Mercedes Benz. He wanted to sit up straight and be buried in his thing, and that was his coffin. So to see a person who is a believer who dies and he is buried in a in a shape of a bio, of a of a bible i thought that was such an interesting one and i wanted to end this particular episode with that particular one sad but interesting it's it's the balance is it's it's hard to miss the balance here okay there's no way of avoiding thinking i saw the story and i was like how come this story never reached out there and so you know here when i'm when i'm doing research you will see always see stories like this where it's unique stories that you might have not heard out there on social media that might not be trending which is why you subscribe to you okay we don't we, we're not like every other channel every other channel has their own thing they have their own shtick <laughs> yeah our shtick is that it's all of the christian body even that which you might not see ricky do tell me what you think it, it's sad but interesting. It's Ricky. I'll see you on a later on. If you like this kind of commentary, you can leave a like, leave a subscription if you do like them kind of videos. And I would do this on a daily basis. Other videos down today, they'll be down in the pink comments. 